If you are a French speaker, you can turn on the subtitle so you can follow this tutorial. Si tu parles français, tu peux activer les sous-titres, comme ça tu pourras suivre ce tutoriel. Merci Hello guys and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to make another compilation of Japanese snack on cool beans. And I hope you enjoy! In the past, I've already made a lot of videos like this that you can find here. And you can also find them here. I will link them at the end of the video and in the comments down below. So here is a short presentation of what we will make today. I really love mochi, especially the one with bean paste inside. Tell me in the comments down below which one is your favorite. Here is a list of material that you will need to make this tutorial. You can take a screenshot of a list of material that you will need to make this tutorial. And when you are ready, let's go for a tutorial! First, we will start by a dango brochette. Dango is a rice bowl on a barbecue stick. There is two sorts of dango. The first one is white and has a caramel glaze and the second one has three colors, white, green and pink. Then, the second one is a candied strawberry, which is a famous treat as well. I had the chance to taste it in a fun fair one time. It reminds me of when I was little, my mom bought me a candied apple and I ate all the sugar on top. <laughs> then I gave her the apple. Then she never bought me a candied apple ever again. <laughs> The third one is a pokey set. I made three different flavors, strawberry, matcha and chocolate. If you ever tasted pokey before, tell me in the comment down below which one is your favorite. I am team strawberry and you won't change my mind. Then, a strawberry mochi. This one is quite fast to make and it's really cute as well. Don't forget to sew its eyes. Next, we will make a sakura mochi. Sakura mochi is like the regular mochi we know, but it's wrapped into a sakura leaf. Because sakura leaves are supposed to have some sort of antibacteria effect, it has a reputation to eliminate tooth decay. I never tried it myself, but it was really interesting to read. And the last one is a bur mochi, with a mango flavor. Once you are done, add a black line around of it to give this nice cartoon effect. Add two to three coats of varnish glue, then let it dry until it's fully transparent.
Then cut your pieces, letting a little space between each other. Draw and cut your felt loosely so you can fold it on your embroidery. Keep your felt straight with some round headed pins, then sew it. Cut a piece of plastic sheet, then glue it on the back of your piece. Choose a second felt, then sew your pin on it. Then sew it on the back of your embroidery. Then, cut the excess felt. And that's it for today guys! I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did, consider subscribing to our channel and follow us on our social media. If you really enjoyed this video, remember that you can find in the comment down below over video like this. You can tell me in the comments down below which one is your favorite. Personally, mine is the strawberry mochi one. Thank you so so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!